Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to, whoa I just sound like Miss Mag, if you guys don't know who he is, check him out, if you guys are into magic, like me, because we're sick. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a ball bounce in Cinema 4 Dizzle. Uh, this works for 11 and 11.5, I'm pretty sure, which are like different versions, but this is what it'll look like in the end, except you know, cooler without all the boxes and stuff, but that's what it's going to look like. So, this is how you make it. So, you start out with your basic layout, and you want to go to this little cube, and you want to make a plane. And you don't have to make it huge, but, like, make it big enough so you can easily make this, and you have plenty of room. And then, you want to make a sphere. Actually, one sec. Before you make that sphere, you want to go down to the object properties on plane, and you want to set the width segment to 1, and the height segment to 1 or else this will not work, so make sure you do that. Then, go ahead and make a sphere. Sphere, that's just that's just a weird word. It's just a creepy word. Okay, so once you have your sphere, sphere, god, that word, you want to make it, like, high, and I would recommend making it a little bit smaller, just so it's not so big, just, it looks better. Make it, if you want, like, a big bounce, make it pretty high. I say, like, set it to probably... Like 190, that would be a pretty good height. It's going to bounce pretty high if you set it that high. But just set it high. Just set it high enough. And then you want to go to the Dynamics tag up here, and you want to select Solver, Object, and then select Gravity. Once you do that, you want to make the sphere and the plane edible by clicking on one of them. Like, I'm going to do the sphere first. So click on the sphere and click this little button right here. And then click on plane and click that little button again, and now they're edible. <laughs> edible. Oh my god. Editable. You can mess around with it. So once you make it edible, click on the sphere, and you want to go to tags, dynamic tags, and you want to click rigid body dynamic. Once you selected that, you for the sphere you want to select total mass, and you want to set that to, actually, I'm sorry guys. I'm getting confused with the plane. You want to go to collision and set the collision detection to full and static to 28. And then you can go to the plane and do the same thing. Go to tags, dynamic tags, rigid body, dynamic. And set the collision detection to full. But then you want to go to mass and set the total mass to zero. And you want to click calc mass center. Just go ahead and click that, click that once, and you're good to go. And then you want to drag everything into Solver Object. You want to drag the sphere, the plane, and gravity by clicking and holding, and or clicking and dragging it over Solver Object until you see that little down arrow, and then just dropping it. And do that for every tag. And once you have that, you are done. So we watch it. And oh my gosh. Whoa. And then you guys can mess around with it, make it more cooler, make it more your own. And I just want to get something out of the way. A lot of people have made this tutorial, or not a lot, but I've seen a couple videos on YouTube on how to do this. And I did it just because I could not find one person who did it with a voice over. And I just think it's a lot easier if I use my voice, which is why I use my voice. So, everybody, thanks for watching. And please subscribe because I use my voice. Because it's sexy. I know it is. You don't, I, you don't have to say anything. So thanks for watching. Double click that like button. And subscribe.